Show, the business podcast that not only inspires, but gives you the strategies to build a thriving business with our daily 10-minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today's lesson is a two-part lesson. We're going to be talking about how to pre-sell your product. In this two-part lesson, we're going to go through why would you want to pre-sell a product, how to do it, how to price it, how to sell it. We'll also cover how to deliver your product to your early adopters, to those who bought in the pre-sell period, and how to communicate with them, build relationships with them, and ultimately sell your product live once it's released. We got a lot to cover in this two-part lesson, so let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by HostGator. HostGator is our preferred hosting company. If you're looking to host your website, HostGator is the way to go. With their 24-7 live support via chat, phone, or email, they're always there to help you out if you have any questions or want to make any changes to your website. And best of all, HostGator is giving listeners to The $100 MBA Show a 30% discount. That's huge. All you got to do is visit HostGator.com slash MBA30 to get your 30% discount on hosting. Go to HostGator.com slash MBA30. The first thing I want to say before I begin this two-part lesson, with today being part one and tomorrow being part two, is why would you want to pre-sell a product? What's the point? And the reason why I recommend you should pre-sell a product is to gauge real interest for your actual product or service. When somebody has to put their money up for something, they have to pay for something before they actually get it, that really gauges if they really want it. It's easy for somebody to sign up for a waiting list or say this is something they would want or it's a good idea, but when they actually put their money where their mouth is, that's when you really gauge real interest. And this is great for you because it allows you to know what you should create. If you decide to pre-sell a product and it doesn't really sell well or nobody buys, then you know it's not something that people want, especially if you've done what you needed to do, including marketing, when it comes to your pre-sold product. So remember, the whole point here is to make sure people want what you're selling and you're able to build some momentum. So the first step when it comes to pre-selling your product is you need to decide on a minimal viable product. You need to decide what does this product look like at its core. There's a lot of bells and whistles you can add to it, but what can it essentially do? What problem is it essentially solving? Now, I'm going to refer to an example in this two-part lesson to make things relatable, to make things clear. And that's my own example or our own example with Webinar Ninja. This is a software that we just recently released that helps people create webinars easily and effectively. When we decided to pre-sell Webinar Ninja, we wanted to create the minimal viable product. We wanted to make sure the whole point of Webinar Ninja is to create webinars easily. Now, there's a lot of features we can add and we have a lot of bells and whistles we can add, but we first have to sell the core principle, the core product. So we had to decide what that is. What does that look like? What are the essentials? Another good example of this is if you look at the iPhone, the first version of the iPhone, it looks very much different and it functions very much different than the current iPhone 6. The battery life is much better. There's a whole lot more options. It's faster. It looks better. The resolution so much better. It's thinner. A whole bunch of reasons why it's better. But the point is, is that they started with a minimal viable product. Now, the second step when it comes to pre-selling your product is you need to decide on a launch date. Give yourself some time, but not too much time. Now remember, you need to actually decide on two launch dates. One is the launch date of your pre-sales, when you're gonna start pre-selling this product, and then the launch date or the release date of the product. So when people pre-sell, they need to know when they're gonna receive this product, whether it's a month from now, two months from now, three months from now. There's plenty of products that get released uh, two or three months, four months even, after somebody actually purchases. Now remember, the longer somebody has to wait to receive the product, the less likely they are to buy, but the exception is if it's so compelling they're willing to wait. This is definitely true in the automobile industry. People wait 18 months for the next Ferrari to come out or Porsche. They'll go on a waiting list and they'll put a deposit down waiting for that car to come. So if your product is compelling enough, they'll wait those extra months. But your job is to decide on those two launch dates, when you're gonna start pre-selling and when you're gonna release those pre-sold items. The next thing is you need to outline your offer into two categories. One is the must-have elements, and the second is the additional optional elements. 
Now, the must-have elements really just focus on the problem you're solving. What does your product do? So in our example with Webinar Ninja, our product allows you to create webinars easily and effectively without you being a tech guru. That's the must-have. We need to be able to create a webinar that's easy and effective. Now, the additional options is integrations, APIs, email notifications, having paid webinars. All these things are additional options that we want to have in our product, and we will have. But in the beginning, we have to separate the must-have elements and then the additional optional elements. And the reason why I have to separate these two is because of the next point. You're going to have to start creating a sales page to pre-sell your item. And that's just a simple web page. You can do this with Squarespace. You could do this with WordPress, with any kind of theme. The point here is, is that you need to create a sales page that sells your product or pre-sells your product. And when you do this, you need to focus on the must-have elements. And the reason why is because when you have your sales page and you're pre-selling your product, you need to focus on the must-have elements, what your product is solving. The additional options are great, but you don't want to add them to the sales page because you don't know if we're going to be able to provide those in time for launch. These can be pleasant surprises. These are things that can be added to the sales page once they're completed. So you're not promising things that don't actually get fulfilled come launch day or come release day. So you're gonna create a sales page on your website. It's just one page that details what your product is solving, how you're solving it, and what's your unique selling proposition. So the next point is you need to make sure you focus on selling the solution and not the product. What is the problem here that you're solving? Focus on that. People buy solutions. They don't buy actual products. People bought Webinar Ninja because they wanted to create webinars easily. The problem is, is that webinar creations are very technical. They're very complicated. And what's out there is intimidating. They wanted people that understood that and would support them through their webinar journey. And that's really the solution we're providing. And that's what we had to sell when we were pre-selling. The little options here and there, they're important, but not as important. And you can later on do that once you've released a product and you're just selling because the product's ready. Guys, I got more on part one of how to pre-sell your product. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, HostGator. Guys, like I mentioned, HostGator is what we use to host all our websites. And the reason is, is that they're just easy to use. And when you have something that's easy to use, you use it. And one of the things I use with HostGator is their live support via chat, phone, or email. I usually either use phone or chat. But what I love about it, it's 24-7. Any time of day when I'm working on my site, I need something edited or changed or upgraded, I can get a live support agent to help me out right then and there. Also, HostGator has some really great options like one-click WordPress installs, an easy-to-use website builder, and they also have design services and marketing services to help with your SEO and pay-per-click campaigns. So if you're thinking about the best hosting solution to host your websites, go with HostGator. And now there's more of a reason, now that they're giving every listener to The $100 MBA Show a 30% discount. Just visit HostGator.com slash MBA30 to get your discount. That's HostGator.com slash MBA30. Guys, a couple more points here to cover in part one of this lesson. One of the last points I want to cover today is you need to make sure you set your price for your product. Now, you remember when you're pricing this product, this is a pre-sale and not the actual sale. So this should be lower than you would normally charge for this product when it's out there and ready. You want to reward people for being early adopters. You want to reward people for seeing your vision, for saying, hey, I want this solution. I believe in these people. I want to be able to be one of those first people to use it. Also, you want to make sure it's priced low enough so they say, hey, I want to pre-order because if I wait, I'm going to pay X amount of dollars. And you got to make sure they know how much it's going to be if they wait until after release. So for example, with Webinar Ninja, our pre-sale was $245 a year and currently it's $495 a year. So it's a huge, huge discount. You also want to discount it because you want to reward these people in advance. Why? Because these people are going to give you great feedback in the beginning to refine and improve your product. We've seen this happen with Webinar Ninja. Webinar Ninja has improved incredibly over the last few weeks alone because of the feedback we've gotten from our early adopters. So you want to reward them in advance for that. Lastly, you may want to sweeten the deal with some bonuses. Give some additional things to those who are early adopters. Price is one of them, but maybe you want to throw in some extra stuff in there. Maybe a free course a freebie here or there. I remember when we had our early adopters for the $100 MBA training and community, we gave some simple things like a handwritten postcard to our early members. 
And the postcard had a letter from us, but also on the other side, it had a printed manifesto, the $100 MBA manifesto on it. So it was really cool to have it in your office. The point is that you want to swing in the deal to entice people to come on board, to believe in your solution. All right, guys, that wraps up part one. Don't forget, guys, tomorrow is part two of this lesson. We're going to cover a whole lot of things like marketing your pre-sale product, keeping your pre-sale customers engaged and informed before the actual lease. So those who have purchased, they know that what's coming up and you're keeping them informed and also how to release the actual product once it's ready for your customers. Guys, thank you so much for listening to The $100 MBA Show. If you love what you hear, if you want to give us some love, if you want to give us some feedback, just drop us an iTunes rating and review. That's the best way to do it. By leaving us an iTunes rating review, we get to hear from you. We know exactly what your favorite takeaways are. We know what to improve on. And you also help support the show by letting other people know why you love the show. If you're on your iPhone, just click on the cover art. And you'll see a link that says, give us a rating and a review. If you're on your computer, just go to 100mba.net slash show. Detailed instructions are right there. Guys, I want to leave you with this. Pre-selling a product is one of the things you do to really put your rear end on the line, to really make sure you actually follow through on what you're promising. It's a really a high level way of doing business because you know and you believe in your work habits that you can actually deliver on time. So I suggest when you do your first pre-sale, Choose a product that is something you can really wrap your hands around. Maybe something simple like an ebook, where you know you can plan out how many days you need to write it and edit it and publish it and all that stuff. You have to remember, I've been doing this for quite some time. Nicole's been doing this for quite some time. So when we pre-sold Webinar Ninja, that was one of our largest products we ever sold, period. And software is a beast. But we've pre-sold products before in the past. And actually, our first pre-sold product was an ebook. So think about that if this is the first time you're pre-selling an item. Give it a shot. That goes well. Up the ante. Go to the next level. All right, guys. I hope that helps. And I hope to see you in tomorrow's lesson. Tomorrow is part two of how to pre-sell your product. I'll see you then, guys. Take care.